thing with kettles where I have I have to hear the final click. Go! Oh my god. to put in here but apples is all that was available to me on the agenda for today is to go do some errands I realized that my kitchen is lacking some like key things one of which is like a larger cutting board I need some chopping knives like a chef's knife I have a lot of paring knives but I, I chipped my last couple of chef knives and I need new ones and I also want to go look at pots because as you guys know I think I've mentioned it a few times I have one pot that is too tiny for any sort of spaghetti making soup making session so I just need to go take a look at them I'm probably gonna buy one online uh, but I want to go in store and just see like kind of which one I'd like or what size I want. Work to do today, you know, a laundry list of other things, and I thought it'd be fun to take you all along with me on this splendid journey. I haven't had oatmeal in a bit and it's going down well. Take in my hair right now. It is the last time that it will probably be looking the way that it does. It is raining outside and historically rain and my hair do not mix well together. And fortunately relate really all too well to Monica Geller. Uh, this is a bad idea. Maybe I'll bring this one. I'm trying to get my reusable bag, cotton in the rain. Doesn't feel like a great time. This is probably better. This is one of my baggies. Okay, keys, put on my coat, get shoes on, get this party started. I say with a very heavy dose of sarcasm because I got nothing that I was supposed to get today. I was just having no luck today. Um, kind of feel like it was an unproductive trip, but I'm trying to remind myself that A, it's good that I got out, and B, um, I did get some bamboo spoons and a spatula thingy, so not totally unproductive. These are not the same ones I showed in the Home Sense clip. I was about to buy them and then I realized that the coloring on the handles might conflict with the mint pistachio coloring I have for my silicone spatulas. So I just wanted like some simple basic bamboo-ness. This was absolutely unnecessary. This is like what you use to frost a cake, um, 
a lot of times you can use these in baking and I have been baking a lot so I feel like there have been a few times where I feel like something like this comes in handy even when I'm making pizza dough I feel like this will be good for uh, helping me separate the dough and freeze like smaller portions. I also really love the handle of this that it's wood It kind of reminds me of some of some knives steak knives that my grandparents have. I mean Definitely worth going out of my way to go out today, right? <laughs> the hunt for a cutting board that has like actual non-stick things on it Like something to keep to give it some grip the search remains for that the search remains for some knives as far as the pot Situation goes I did find a few pots that I I think would work I just didn't want to buy any of them today because nothing was on sale so i'm just gonna hold off wait until they come down a bit because i know they will i did get a good idea though for sizes i was originally like looking at 11 quart pots and like i don't know if you guys have huge stock pots like that but that is massive and i am one person i just need i think something in the five to seven range would be really so that was a really good exercise in me like actually being confronted with pot sizes, which I've never really paid too much attention to. Fun adulting things, right? I'm excited about this. I don't know what it is about like nostalgia that really like gets me to purchase things. Just looking around and I saw this and saw the handle, I'm like those look like steak knives that my grandparents have. It's a sign. And I took it to the cash without thinking twice. I only spent a whopping $11.28 today too. A trip that was unproductive for for just like my life uh, was very healthy for my wallet. Can't complain there. bit of an Instagram plan to kind of give me some ideas of what to shoot. I'm gonna actually pre-shoot some things, uh, like I wanna get a shot of my office bookshelf. Um, I also wanna get a picture of my pantry. One of the things I wanna do over the next few months is just get better at posting on my feed. I think I'm, I'm fairly good at uh, posting regularly, but I would like to ideally get to a place where once a day or once every two days at least I am posting. I just don't want those big spurts sometimes where I have like five days of a lack of inspiration or motivation and I don't post anything. So I think just having like a little planning session for what types of things I, I want to uh, take photos of can be really helpful. Instagram is definitely one of those things where I feel like it's easy to think that not a lot of work goes into, you know, putting up a photo, but each photo needs to have like a concept behind it. You need to take the photo, you need to edit the photo, then you gotta come up with a caption for the photo. It's not a two second process. Each photo takes a, a decent amount of time to get it to a place where it's ready to be posted. Writing captions especially is time consuming because I do tend to do longer form captions. I don't know if that's interesting at all to you, but that is what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna go get my camera, my big DSLR camera and get shooting. So this right here, is my baby um my my shooting camera this is where i do the camera that i do a lot of my sit down talks with not all sometimes i just use my vlog camera which is the canon g7x mark ii it's the canon 80d body uh but i have a sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens this lens is like just pure chef's kiss yeah i love this camera for shooting photography this works really well for me i'm gonna have links i always have links to my equipment down in the description box below but they're available to you if you want to check them out. Definitely an investment, but I feel like at the end of the day, I do also take a lot of photos for my Instagram account on my, on my phone. I currently have an iPhone. All phones these days have, well, most phones have pretty incredible cameras. So especially if like you just want photos for Instagram or even if you're doing video for YouTube, like cameras have come such a long way on the phone. But this is a nice just step up, you know, if you're at that place where you feel like you want that step. I also have my Canon T4i, which is the camera that I used to shoot on years ago. I haven't used this in a very long time. Also a pretty great camera for beginners. I think they now only have the T6i or maybe it's even at the T7i. I don't know what which number they're at now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get shooting.
finished a chapter of the new book I'm reading, Super Tractor by Gabrielle Bernstein. Ideally, uh, I will be reading a chapter of this a day. There's 11 chapters, so it should just take me just under two weeks to finish this. I've been slacking a little bit with the nonfiction reading in 2020. I've been reading a lot of fiction. Uh, 20, two, two out of the 20 books that I've read in 2020 so far have been nonfiction. Uh, and the rest are fiction. So I just want to like make make more of a point of taking time out of my day to to read a nonfiction book like this one, like many others in my office, just 20 to 30 minutes a day dedicated to something like this. I think already just from reading this one chapter, I am walking away from it, just feeling insightful, reflective, reading nonfiction, especially in the self-help category for me, it's just, or even in business, it's content that just makes you think, not that not fiction doesn't, but it, it's more about like your own life, not like other characters' lives. And I really like being in that state of intention and mindfulness. So that's that's the mission. That's the current mission. And this is the current mission. Super Attractor, Gabrielle Bernstein. If you didn't know, I do have a Goodreads account that you can find linked in the description box below. I keep all of you updated about what I'm currently reading, what I've read, reading updates, reviews. Just about six o'clock now. How great is daylight savings time, eh? Feels like there's still a lot of day to live, um, which I love. But I think I'm gonna start on dinner. I haven't decided if I'm just gonna reheat leftovers or make something from scratch. I'm looking at my pantry right now. I'm not loving the idea of making something from scratch. I think I'm gonna reheat something. Oh my goodness, that was a heaping bowl of pasta, chickpeas, carrots, celery. What else is in here? I can't remember, but it's delicious because it's not just pasta. The chickpeas make it really filling. So I'm gonna be set for this one. What am I looking for? Oh, a plate. <laughs> Whoa, this like lighting is very good right now. I'm always gonna do my outros at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> As you saw, I finished off that day with a nice next in fashion viewing session. I actually finished the series on that day. I really like that show, it's on Netflix, and Tan France from Queer Eye is one of the hosts. And I think like one of the reasons why I liked it so much, because the whole idea is there's all these designers competing to obviously win the grand prize. But what I really liked about the show is it was a competition show, but all the contestants were really like supportive with one another. And you would see, you know, during competitions, them asking each other opinions and like not doubting whether someone was just saying something to sabotage them. Like they actually were helping each other out and being very supportive and very positive. And I was just like, Whoa, this is such a breath of fresh air for a competition show. I also really like the element of obviously the fashion designing and kind of seeing that process from start to finish. Some talented people out there, geez Louise. <laughs> yeah, I finished that show. Um, I already watched Love is Blind, which is what everyone's talking about. I actually binged it in like a 12 hour period on a Friday night to a Saturday morning. Not my proudest moment, but I had to I had to understand why the internet was so obsessed with that show. All I keep telling people when I talk about my viewing experience with Love is Blind is that I just kept yelling at the TV because there were so much like absurd things happening. Unfortunately, I do not have any more shows to watch right now, uh, which is probably a good thing. Because when the temptation exists, I do just like get sucked in. Um, there's like so many shows and movies that people are telling me to watch. I'm like, I, I, I don't think you understand that if I start this and I like it, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> I feel like this vlog was filled with lots of different things, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Until then, bye everyone.